Chris Brockman over there, you can answer this question. With Odell, what, as soon as he came off the campus of LSU, well, man love, right? We were, I mean, we were very smitten. Well, we being the royal we, you right. and I together. But right, I mean, together, that's what I mean. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that. In terms of collegiately over the last several years, who would that be for me? Collegially? Saquon Barkley. That's a fact. That's a fact. I watch the show. You give me a lot of praise. No, if you you have yeah. seen that, right? I'm shocking because you're in Michigan. Well, yeah. look. Why would that be shocking? Shocking. I mean, we're we're Big Ten. You're right. We're Big Ten. Yeah, Big Ten. You yeah. talked about how the speed of the game in the NFL did not phase you. That's yeah. understandable coming from the Big Ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you're what I'm right. saying? You're right. You I know go what against I mean? Michigan defense, Ohio State defense. Um, no, don't talk about that defense. Oh, this is one defense oh, man, we were just oh, talking no, about yeah, right I, here. I, I, I know, by the way, I know we're in SEC country where it means so much more to all the fans that are here. Pardon me. I'm, I'm appreciative of all you folks no. from Atlanta showing up here. But yeah, the SEC, come on, right? I can I can talk about that all day. I know. I could. <laughs> I, it, it, there is a Southeast bias yeah. when it comes to college football, right? I, I believe that, you know, my personal opinion, there's a lot of great teams in college. Um, but, you know, when you separate the, the top tier SEC teams, and separate the top tier to the Big Ten teams. Yes. I think it lasts four or five years. Obviously, with the exception of Alabama. Um, and Clemson I think it, as well. I mean, yeah, you Clemson, know, there's Clemson, yeah, Clemson fans here Clemson, as well. Yeah, Clemson. I mean, like, oh, yeah, definitely Clemson. Um, I would say, you know, Big Ten is, if not better, just as good. How much do you hate Ohio State? Do you hate Ohio State more than Michigan? Let's I be hate honest them all, here. actually. I hate them all. I, I, like, I don't understand, because obviously I never go to Ohio, I didn't go to Ohio State or Michigan, but like, we don't got to hate for you know, those same team, team two, two teams the way you guys got hate for each other. Um, so are you jealous of our hate? For no, each other? <laughs> no, no, no. I feel like, you know, you got like something that's cool about Penn State. I'm like, we kind of like, like to hold, like we like hold our head up high. Like we're Penn State. Like people want to be our rivals, but we don't mind. I guess you could kind of say Ohio State has kind of came into that because the last three or four games we had with Ohio State, uh, either last second plays or two minute drives for a win or a blocked field goal. Um, probably in the last three years, top 10 games uh, in college football. So uh, definitely got no hate, just mutual respect. Um, but I thought Akron's your rival. I thought that's what your coach said. <laughs> Akron, once Akron. Time. Well, right? we, we keep everyone, Super Bowl we or? say everyone's equivalent to a team like Akron. Uh, that's our mindset, the Super Bowl. Whoever we face that week, <laughs> uh, Coach Franklin does a great job. You are that. so good at this. <laughs> James Franklin, that whole thing right there. So, okay, a couple more questions for you, Saquon. Uh, I'm going to see Trace McSorley at the Combine, right? Yeah. Okay. And everybody's talking about undersized quarterbacks. Baker did this, and we're talking about Kyler Murray. How come we're not talking about Trace in the NFL? What do you think here? I think, you know, everyone's going to say what they want to say. Like I said, people are going to say good things and bad things about you. Um, and you can say what you want to say about Trace. One thing I can say about Trace is he's a competitor. I'm um, not even talking about a winner. I'm talking about a competitor. And at the end of the day, when you see the NFL, I'd rather surround myself with guys who are going to compete no matter what, no matter if we're down 30 or we're up 30, if we're 3-13 and 13 or we're 13-3. Uh, and three. Um, That shows who you really are. And he showed that time after time after time in college, being hurt, playing through injuries, uh, everyone always saying that through his whole life, he can't do this, he can't do that, and proven wrong. And I'm a firm believer in Trace Missouri, and I believe that once he gets to the NFL, no matter where he gets drafted, whether it's high, whether it's not, when he gets on the team, he's going to prove himself. Well, and you know, though, he pulls that home run routine in the NFL, someone's going to come high and tight. He's going to get a brush back pitch if he <laughs> yeah. does something like that. I mean, they, they tried, they did a little bit in college, but uh, he'll do it more than he'll do it, trust me. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.